Can you talk a little bit about, obviously, you're trying to get that offense to go through Trevor the whole game, it seemed like, especially in the second half? Well, first half we didn't do a real good job. We were running a little different set with them in the, in the first half, which was effective, too. I, I thought it opened the lanes for us. We attacked the basket pretty good. Uh, we had a lot of dribble drive, kick out with some shooters, and we got that. Uh, I thought they went out on our people a lot tougher the second half, so we adjust a little bit and try to go through Trevor a little bit. He did a nice job down there. He made some great passes out of it. He got some balls called down there, and uh, we fed off him a little bit, but certainly uh, not nearly the execution we had in the first half, but obviously they jacked it up a little bit too the second half with their intensity. And we shot 55% for the first half and 33 the second half, but a lot because of their defense and stuff. But Trevor, Trevor played a physical game tonight, I thought. Uh, after, uh, I'm sure he was just as disappointed on Thursday as, as himself as, as we were in and our whole effort to our whole team on Thursday. So he bounced back in this chat. Um, G-Ball seems like a guy who, he's uh, almost anxious to kind of put the team on his back on the long. Certainly in that first half, we kind of saw that from him. That, that, uh, that was a good thing. Well, he's, we don't have a lot of people that have been in our program playing for us for a long time. A lot, most of these guys are in their first or second year playing. And this is his first year of playing after being with us all of last year. We don't have a lot of leaders. He's, he's one that is an older kid, even though he's certainly new to our program. And he's, he's, he wants that responsibility. There's no question about it. He wants to be a leader. He leads well at some times, and other times I, I have to talk to Coming on the heels of uh, Thursday's game, I mean, to, if you had lost in this one, had another poor performance, it would have really been a kind of a devastating start for the uh, Summit League. So, I mean, to, to pull out this victory against an in-state rival like SDSU, I mean, is there any way to put into words how big of a boost this is for your team? Well, we had a lecture practice yesterday. We didn't practice. I, I brought him in at 1 o'clock and we had a conversation. All right, last about 20 minutes, and I sent him home. Kids are pretty resilient, but they needed to hear some things that I think were important for them to hear. And the game just played it. You're right, that, that was you not know, going to be acceptable to have a poor performance again tonight in that type of game. I'm just very proud of our guys that they, they came back and played with the effort that they did. Did you think back in uh, 1988 that you were going to hang up 500 here? <laughs> I didn't think I'd be here till this long. You never anticipate that, but I never wanted to be anywhere else. I think this university and the people that we work with and deal with in the state of South Dakota is just a special place where you like to raise your kids at, which Peggy and I had that opportunity to do. We've had incredibly good players over these 25 years. Good character, good passion about playing the game, respect for the game, the assistant coaches that have been a part of it. You don't do this without a lot of people helping you do 